What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well before we get into the uh, meat and potatoes of our show, we're going to go ahead and open this up. So this is a care package from the team over at Crypti.co. They are a cryptocurrency apparel company. Uh, we've recently partnered with them and they've been sending me stuff and uh, I want to go ahead and check it out. As you can see, it's all still nicely packed. I have not peeked at all. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, Ethereum Classic, nice. Can I open it one-handed? Nope, okay, so we'll guess on that. Ethereum Classic, good guess there. I can't tell what this one is. I'm not sure what that one is. We'll open everything in a minute. Ooh, this is a Ravencoin shirt. Check that out, hold, ah, hodl, I like it. Uh, what do we got here? What's this one? Uh, Ethereum, and oh, is this a Flux sweatshirt? Are you kidding me? All right, cool. Let me go ahead and open up all of these and then I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, check out this spread. So we got, as we thought, Ethereum Classic black t-shirt. I really like the material, really thick. Look at this Ergo one, it looks like Spaceman. It says Ergo on it. This is an Ethereum one and I'm not, so this is a long sleeve sh Ethereum shirt. I'm not gonna lie, this is not one of my favorites. I don't know, it just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know that I like the whole purple theme, I don't know. It's a little feminine, unless this is uh, a female sweatshirt, maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, this amazing shirt, I love this Ravencoin shirt. And then finally, we did get one, which I'm so excited for with winter coming, a Flux sweatshirt. This is awesome. I love this like plain design of just the plain white, it's a nice heavy duty sweatshirt and then with the cool Flux logo on there. Ah, it looks so good. Anyways guys, if you guys want any type of cryptocurrency apparel, I have started wearing it more and more, kind of loud and proud, right? Um, go ahead and check out the link at the bottom, crypti.co and use the promo code THEHOBBYISTMINER at checkout to get 10% off. None of the sales go to me, guys. I literally ask them, do not, I don't want commission. I want all of the discount and the value to go towards the community. So please go check them out. Crypt, uh, Crypti.co, the hobbyist miner at checkout for 10% off. Okay, let's jump into our video. Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna talk about mining Shiba with some old cards. So I thought we might as well show you guys the oldest cards I own. And then these are the ones we're gonna use for our mining and our setup. So what we have here inside of our grow tent, uh, we have our RX 470s up top here, but down below here, these are R9380s. These are actually Red Fox Crypto's favorite GPUs. So make sure you guys go ask him about that. Uh, but we have seven total. We have three, four, five, six, seven. So we have two of the Windforce, we have two power color, uh, three power color, an XFX, and then an ASUS. Uh, and these are all running off of a HP motherboard with two of the PCI splitters. Uh, and uh, yeah, pretty sweet, but these are definitely older cards. And so I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to um, Hivon, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look and set up to show you guys how to mine Shiba coin on old GPUs. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get into how to mine Shiba coin. Now this could apply to old cards, which this gives that opportunity to, but you could honestly mine this on any GPU out there. When we get to the point where you actually have to differentiate it a little bit, I'll show you. It's very simple and easy, but this takes all of five to 10 minutes max. So before we get into this, uh, let's make sure we go ahead and grab our Shiba wallet. So grab that from Exodus, grab that from uh, Zellcore or wherever else you have your Shiba address. For me, it's Exodus. So I'm going to come into Exodus. I'm going to click receive and it's going to give us our address. We're going to go ahead and just copy that into our clipboard and we are done. So next step is we're going to come into our farm and, and select wallet. Once you're into wallet, we're going to go ahead and when it loads and we're going to click add wallet in the upper right hand corner. Now our next step we're gonna go ahead and type in Shiba. It's not gonna auto populate, so type it and hit enter. Our next step is to go ahead and paste in that address that was in our clipboard from Exodus or wherever else you have your wallet address. 
And we're going to go ahead and type this in and just type in Shiba. And then we're also going to type in Exodus after just to identify what wallet it's coming from, as I have a few different types of wallets. And we're going to hit Create. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Workers, and we're going to our R9 rig, the one that we just showed you, which is our Phoenix rig. That's what we've named it. And here it is. Right now, we're mining Ethereum Classic on the ETC hash algorithm. The total rig does about 138 mega hash right now, and the cards fluctuate anywhere between 18 to 21 based off of how things are going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually turn off Watchdog. I have that in place. Okay, perfect. So now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna make a flight sheet for Shiba. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna click flight sheets. And there's one already up, a blank one ready for us to go, ready to go. So we're going to come in here. We're going to type in Shiba. This is what we created. doesn't have a logo to it. We're going to go ahead and under the drop down for wallet, select Shiba Exodus, which is what we named it. For the pool, we're going to go ahead and say configure in miner. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and select a miner. Now, there are multiple different miners out there that you can use. Um, we're going to be utilizing the website Unminable. Unminable is a website that goes ahead and uh, exchanges coin one for another. So in this case, if you come over to Unminable and you can't find where you need to be at any time, just click on Mineable at the top and it shows you all the coins. We're going to select Shiba on the right. And now you can see the different miners that they recommend. I've tested it. Team Red Miner works. And I love Team Ren Miner for AMD cards, but if you're using NVIDIA, I definitely recommend you using T Rex on the right hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and select, type in Team Red Miner. Perfect. And then the upper right hand corner, you see where it says Setup Miner Config? Just click that. Okay. Next step Hash Algorithm. Okay. Listen up. This is where you want to pay attention as to what GPUs you're using. So when you come over to Unminable, at the very top, when we're under Shiba, there's a few different tabs. You have ETH, uh, ETH hash, which you're going to use with your 6 gig cards and higher. You have ETC hash, which you can also use those, but you can also use your 4 gig cards. Um, or you can also use Kapow. And finally, if you're doing this with a CPU, you can use RandomX. So in this situation, I'd like you to pick which one you feel does better based off of your knowledge on your card. Do you want to do ETC hash or are we going to do Kapow? In this situation, my card does better for me based on my experience on ETC hash. So we're going to stick with that. If you guys decide to do Kapow, that's fine. You're not paid out in Kapow, don't worry. It just mines in Kapow or Ethereum Classic and then it pays out in Shiba. Plain and simple. So we're going to select ETC here and uh, something that we want to do is we want to go back to flight sheet and we're going to go ahead and select that ETC here. Now make sure it says ETC hash if you're using your older four gig cards. Now for wallet and worker template, right over back on Unminable, it actually shows you what our syntax should look like. So it's simple guys, Shiba colon. Okay, that's how we start it. S-H-I-B colon. And then if you hover over top of the I, it allows you to put in the rest of it, which you want the first one here, wallet and worker. So it's gonna pull the wallet from the actual wallet step during the flight sheet setup. And then it's gonna show you the name of that worker based off of what the name of the worker is, which in this case it pulls its um, Phoenix, okay? So now let's jump down to pool. Go back to Unminable. And right here, it shows you the global server, which you can pick, and then it will go ahead and decides on the best server for you. But I'm just going to go straight to manual set here and I'm going to select East Coast because that is what I use. That's the closest for me. So if you click on it, it copies it to your clipboard and I'm going to paste it into the pool address. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and under password, just put an X. Got it. Let's hit apply. Okay. So now we're going to select create flight sheet, but first we have to name it. So I like to call it the name of the coin, Shiba. I then like to call it uh, the name of the rig so I know what rig this was meant for. Um, so this is going to go ahead and be our uh, Phoenix rig. And then finally, what miner? That's just, the, that's just the syntax that I do. You could put anything you want in there. So we're going to hit create flight sheet. 
Okay. So now we're going to go to workers. We're going to go back to Phoenix. And now we're going to go and we're going to select flight sheet. And we're going to go ahead and edit this. I'm sorry, we're going to unset this. And that's going to remove the flight sheet from this rig. You're going to see in just a moment. See how there's no flight sheet at the top? And there's actually a red message at the top that says missing flight sheet. Now we need to go find our flight sheet. Look at that. I actually created two. So let's delete one just to avoid any issues. Uh, and then the next step is, is we're just going to go next to Sheba flight sheet. There's a little rocket. Send it to the moon is what we say. Just go ahead and click it. So now what this is going to do is this is going to download uh, everything needed for this onto your rig. And then it's going to start mining. Now, it's going to mine Ethereum Classic in the background. And then it's going to pay you in your wallet in Shiba Coin. So let's give this a few minutes and we'll check back in a second. Okay, so we didn't do anything. We just sat and waited and gave it a minute. And as you guys can see, it went ahead and look at this. We're getting our 19, 20, 18. You know, we're getting everything we, we would expect off of traditional Ethereum Classic, which is already what we were mining on this rig. And now we're going ahead and we're off and mining, which is awesome. Now, a heads up and a warning to you guys. This is speculative mining. So that means that we are mining Shiba in the hopes that Shiba blows up at some point. In the current second of the day, this isn't really profitable. Like to mine Shiba. Shiba is very much something that you mine and you hope that, man, this blows up or 10 X's or 100 X's and uh, we walk away um, with some decent profits. So after you've had this running for a while, I'm saying a few hours, guys, uh, maybe a day, come back in here and uh, grab your Shiba address. So you can actually just grab that right from your flight sheet if you wanted to right here. Copy your Shiba address. Go back to the unminable website and we're under Shiba and uh, click addresses and then paste your address right in here and hit search. Now this is going to go ahead and it's going to take a second here, but it should after a few moments, actually a few hours and stuff, you should see here uh, your worker address. Now you see how there's tabs here? Make sure you select the one that you're mining for and it'll show your worker in here and it'll show you some great stats, which is good. You can also go ahead and select here, auto pay every 12 hours whenever the balance is over X amount of Shiba. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So 2 million Shiba. So the real question is, how long does it take to mine 2 million Shiba on seven R9380s? It's a good question, right? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. And I, and I recommend you guys try this out. Give it a whirl for like one day, see where you end up. My understanding is Shiba is the difficulty is so low that you bring in Shiba like crazy. Well, guys, that's it for today. We've gone ahead and gone over how to mine Shiba on old GPUs. I would love for you guys to try this and then give me your 12 hour metrics. What GPU did you put on Shiba? And how much Shiba did you make in a 12 hour period I, or 24? You know, just tell me, tell me the time period. Um, I may come back in three hours and be like, I'm not in my 2 million. I'm good to go. Uh, but anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys joining me today for this video. If this was helpful and enjoyable, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps out the YouTube algorithm immensely and pushes this video to the top to recommend it to other miners like yourself. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this and you want to see more content coming out of me, go ahead and click that subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.